What's up? I'm Ellie. And I'm Booster. And you haven't noticed, we've changed our names from Ellie and Booster CH to Necro News, so it's easier for you guys to find us. So, subscribe to us, or I'll make you eat a protein log. Gross. For our first story, Remedy Games has announced a sequel to its tech game, Control. The game will be co-developed with 505 Games and will be a direct sequel to the 2019 game. Hopefully, it'll have more cool SCP references and more Alan Wake, which you haven't played Control, so you don't know anything about the Alan Wake content, huh? No, I've been waiting for Alan 2 or Alan Wake 2. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of like a a, a mesh. A yes. mesh. It's good. It's good. It's very good. I do. I do think you would enjoy the game. Didn't you say there's lots of grinding? Yeah, but see, when I played it, I took out all the grinding through cheating. Our next story, we're going to label as a bit of a rumor because nothing has been hard confirmed. But Horizon Zero Dawn may be getting an MMO in collaboration with NCSoft. Now, while nothing has been formally announced, uh, according to the Korean news site MTN, the game will be developed by NCSoft, which is the same guys behind Lineage and Guild Wars. Uh, did they? It was NCSoft uh, Maple Story? Was that Nexon? Yeah, it was Nexon. Um. Uh... Last year, Gorilla was staffing for an online game, although it's unclear if the title in question was Horizon. Also in the job listings, there was a senior social systems designer position, whose job would involve engaging players in social interactions to create lasting relationships and, where compatible, create guild-like groups to explore together. I really don't want a Horizon MMO. I don't. You hate Horizon? I hate Horizon. <laughs> look, look, Ellie. When Horizon was first announced, yeah. it was Monster Hunter. Oh, yeah, I remember, I remember. Mm, and then it turned into what it is. I don't know. Tomb Raider. It's the new Tomb Raider games, but with mech dinosaurs. I mean, I could... Yeah, you'd probably love it. Yeah. You would probably love it. Speaking of games that Ellie would probably love, on November 7th, which is N7 Day, for any of you Mass Effect fans, BioWaste, uh, BioWare uh, teased a release of Ass Effect 4. Ah. There isn't really much to report about other than it's happened, but the N7 site states that it's in pre-production and things are going smoothly. I do think you would eventually like Mass Effect. That would require me to play three games plus this fourth one. Mm. And then deal with the controversial ending. In Final Fantasy news, Final Fantasy 16 has been sneakily revealed to be a PlayStation exclusive for the first six months of its release. This was found 15 seconds into the latest PlayStation 5 commercial, Play Like Never Before, on some sneaky-ass subtext at the bottom of the screen during the uh, Final Fantasy 16 segment, as if anyone can buy a PS5. As if anyone is surprised by this news. <laughs> True. Well, look, uh, they haven't been exclusive in a while. We, yes, but we know Squeenix loves PlayStation. Yeah, that's true. Speaking of Final Fantasy, well, not strictly gaming-related, Hololive member Nene logged into Final Fantasy XIV to start her journey into the game and was bombarded by fans celebrating her logging into the critically acclaimed MMORPG where you can play through the entirety of A Realm Reborn and the award-winning Heaven Sword expansion up to level 60 for free with no restrictions on playtime. And that's what Nene was actually doing though, as fellow Hololive member Fabuki caught her randomly walking around and immediately started trying to add her as a friend, which Nene was not able to do as she was on the free trial. And you can't have friends on the free trial. Must Weird. play alone. And on that note of critically acclaimed online games, Dark Souls Remastered is finally back online. The game is finally back online after almost a year of being offline. I have never beaten Dark Souls and I'm also banned from it. I've never played Dark Souls, so... Mm. Surprised you didn't ask me why I was banned. Wait, are you actually banned? Oh yeah, no, that wasn't a joke. I'm actually banned from Dark Souls. Wait, online? Or yeah. Like... Yes. What'd you do? I installed mods. Are you not allowed to? Nah, you can install mods, but if they affect gameplay like the mods I installed, uh, you will get banned. Did you cheat a pumpkin eater? Ah. Uh. Uh. Speaking of sucking, you know who else sucks? Who? Mark Zuckerberg, because he just fired over 11,000... What? Wait, Wait, did you not know it was over 11,000 employees? 11,000? Yes. Jesus Christ, okay. I will attempt to impersonate Zuck as I read his statement. Ahem. Not only has online commerce returned to prior trends, but the macroeconomic downturn, increased competition, and ad signal loss have caused our revenue to be much lower than I'd expected. I got this wrong, and I take responsibility for that. 
No specific number was listed, but it did include staff at Reality Labs, the division who handles VR and AR for them. Fun fact, we own a quest and I never use it because it's poopy. That's all. For our final story today, Assassin's Creed Valhalla is probably heading to Steam, maybe. Up until now, the game has only been available on the Epic Games Store, but some recent data labels discovered in the Ubisoft Connect database showed a label for Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Wouldn't be all that surprising, as it seems like more and more games are coming to Steam these days, which is fine, because consoles suck. I said it. As a former console peasant, I agree. Except for the Switch. The yeah. Switch is still good. The, look, the Switch, Nintendo's in its own world. It can't compete with everything else. That's true. And now it's time for our Buried Alive banger. And, uh, yeah, this week we decided to showcase our manager's game. Yeah. He doesn't even know we're doing this. <clears throat> I'd like to show you guys Project Arrhythmia. It's a bullet hell rhythm game, which is every bit as challenging as it sounds. It also has an amazing level editor that the PA community has already heavily used. It makes some amazing levels with fantastic music. The game is super cheap, so please check it out because Pitch is awesome and we love her. And that's about it for the news this week. Here are all the upcoming games. The big one, of course, being Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, but also Goat Simulator 3 is coming out. That's it. I'm not look I don't care about any of these games. <laughs> but but there's also Ease 8. I don't know what that is. Yeah, but it has claimed bump combat, and nothing is better than bump combat. What does that mean? You bump into things to kill them. It's it's weird. Uh, okay. It's superior, I guess. Oh, also uh, Spider-Man. That's coming. There's a lot of games. There's no schedule for this week since Booster and I will be taking a week off from streaming so that we can focus on more video content for you guys. Well, that's everything for this week. Let us know in the comments below what your favorite story was. And don't forget to give us a sub and hit that bell button to stay up to date on your latest gaming news. Yeah. Also, follow us on Twitch because we will stream eventually. Until next time, everyone. Bye. Bye.